Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to part 2 of this replay between TLO and Grez here on Metalopolis. Mutilus now coming in, so Mutilus is going to come in and force some harassment. There is a single missile turret and a Thor though. That Thor with that upgraded uh, range will be able to deal four, and what, 14 times 4, 28, uh, 56 damage. I think that's right, yeah, 56 damage. I'm Asian and I'm bad at math. Oh, I'm how sacrilegious of me. Um, <laughs> Thor back over here. Um, Thor not in researching the 250 millimeter strike cannons. So um, without that strike cannon feature, they're going to be sitting on a lot of energy, but no feedback coming in from the Zerg player as their Zerg, not Protoss. Grez now uh, expanding off into four base play, which is very interesting. He's sitting on 65 harvesters. He's going to be able to out macro. Um, TLO in just a moment. More missile turrets now coming in. Those two missile turrets gonna get focused down. Uh, one single Thor able to get one round of those Javelin missiles out, but now coming back in, wow, those um, those middle is clumping up together, taking a fair amount of damage. The SCV is gonna go ahead and finish off these two last missile turrets, and th with those two missile turrets finished, it will be able. It will be fairly difficult to do any harassment here. But however, now missile turrets coming into this position, a single Viking getting shot down so quickly and now these scvs are gonna be running for their lives but uh, gonna get taken down upgrading to an orbital command not the i don't quite agree with this and now however we have those thors and those the thor now trying to move in scvs moving on over as well single marine siege tanks sieging up upgrading to that orbital command as there is already more thors brought into play the thors are now much smaller so much easier to move around the map and um, not and not gonna get as choked up hellions now moving into this expansion over here only a single queen to greet them and those uh, that queen will get taken down fairly easily the queen does have one armor or two armors and now oh however wow taking down that own his own unit there so down goes that single queen however a lot of zerg is gonna be um, to get torched in trying to take down that hatchery not gonna really work hellions Quickly getting taken down and drones once again returning to work back over here. We have a couple of burrowed banelings here ready for a bomb. Hellions now up, uh, upgraded to 28 damage with that infernal pre-igniter and a base damage of 10. So that is a, a fair amount of damage. Very nice play from Grez. Grez is ready for um, some action. SCV is now being transferred from the main base which is nearly mined out to this expansion over here at the... Um, five o'clock position. Mutal is now running in, but Mutal is going to get just torn apart here. Wow, those stores able to deal so much damage, and now not moving out. I do not know if Liquid TLO or TLO knows about these banelings here. Um, I would well, let's see how this is all going to work. No, there are banelings here as well. No Raven, and wow, this is going to be an interesting play. And um, are we going to get any detonations? This may be. This may come out to be pretty bad. Oh, and. It, Coming in, he, he instead of just doing a simple burrow, a burrow detonation, he actually tried to unburrow to try to take out some of those units, and, and I think that was a little bit of a miscalculation. Investor is now coming in, and now in um, getting the fungal growth, perhaps trying to get um, a neural parasite off, but was unable to. And now TLO just macroing up with such a large army, gonna move on in and try to push in on some of these expansion tiers. Grez has spread himself very, very thin. But all it really takes is a well-timed Nero Parasite, which he is currently re no, not researching. He is currently producing Ultralis. So it's going to be Ultralis and Frenzy. So Ultralis now coming in, perhaps trying to take down some of these units. Wow, and these Ultralis deal so much more damage towards um, these stores now. Uh, however, with no Frenzy, the 250mm Strike Cannon is able to stun them. But more Thors are still being produced. Six, or sorry, six more Ultralis being produced. A single Zergling getting taken down there. Wow, no frenzy, and that really is the issue. No frenzy. We do, in fact, have level 2 armor upgrades, so those units will be able to come in, try to run around. Zerglings trying to come back around. Siege tanks also bringing up the rear as well. Vikings coming in, and in comes another Thor. 250mm strike cannon destroying another one. It's a great play by TL by TLO. Grez just use it, losing these units left and right here. Ultralist with that armor of 5, but still unable to really fight back. So many Thors just constantly being stunned. And this is not looking good. Will One Thor now getting taken down, trying to take down another one. No more energy for 250mm strike cannon. And this Ultralist will be maybe able to finish off with all this splash damage. And Grez running in with so many Ultralists, able to um, deal so much damage. Zerglings coming in as well. All of these um, Thors are very, very low on hit points, getting taken down. And all that are left now are a couple Vikings and one 
two Thors, no, one Thor down to 14 hit points, and down it goes as well. So all there are left are currently Vikings. Vikings trying to destroy over here. Back in the back over here, however, TLO now moving in with some SCVs, um, SCV siege tanks and some Thors to try to take, or sorry, some Hellions to try to take down this expansion here. Grez is now on the ropes trying to fight back. His harvester count is higher and his economy is stronger. But too many seed shanks here. See, um, SCVs uh, dropping down some supply depots, perhaps to try to do a, a semi wall off. Very nicely done. These um, ultralists um, were not did, were not able to move into that position. The the AI on the ultralist didn't come up, didn't try to take down these barracks. Zerglings trying to come in to take down these units again. Four seed tanks just lined up and destroying this hatchery over here. Back over here, we have Vikings now landing. So Grez is taking a lot of hits on his harvester count. Zerglings trying to run on in, trying to take down these Vikings. Vikings perfectly placed in this mineral line. So it, using those minerals as a little bit of a wall. And now in comes a queen. Queen, however, able to get off one or two shots. Very nicely done. SCB should probably start trying to repair some of these siege tanks as well. Siege tanks are now upgraded 3-1. So those Thors are also upgraded 3-1. Um, and TLO going for um, uh, what, mech against against Zerg, so nicely done here. A second planetary fortress placed over here and just to act as a little bit of protection. That planetary fortress has an armor of three even without the Terran plating upgrade from the from the engineering base. So I believe with the engineering base, it's possible to get up a, a Terran planetary fortress up to five armor. And five armor Zerglings ne would never stand a chance. Vikings now perhaps trying to hunt off some more overlords. I do not see a queen here. There is one single spore crawler. That spore crawler may be able to get off one, perhaps two kills. No, not enough of a range. Overlord quickly getting shot down. Spore crawler repositioned itself, was trying to shoot down, but unable to. That overlord is going to get taken. No, a single queen going to go ahead and, and take down one Viking. Oh, Viking. Oh, wow. Well, one Viking down to two hit points. Another Viking down to 28. So it's still nicely done. Still has a couple um, drones burrowed over here. So TLO trying to fortify this position, perhaps set up an, another expansion here. Move these siege tanks, take down and um, protect these extractors. And um, only Zerglings can do a run by. This is not a full a wall. In comes some Zerglings and now some Ultralists as well. Those Ultralists um, have an, um, what? Um, damage versus armored units is 43 damage. So that's why they're able to deal so much. And that frontal splash attack. And making this so that when those stores are s sitting next to each other, take a large amount of damage. A single Viking still over here, looking, ma keeping track of the mini map. Hellions now moving out as well. So those Hellions, with that 3-1 upgrade, able to deal 30 damage an attack. And, oh, and yeah, quickly, um, that yeah, Zergling never stood a chance. Now Zerglings and Zerglings uh, surrounding a couple of those um, of those uh, Hellions. However, Ultralists are not a strong counter towards those Hellions. And those, and, and wow, even that Hydralis is going to get taken down very easily. So two Hellions now going to make a quick run into this base. Maybe able to get a couple of drone kills. I'm trying to get off a second flamethrower shot. No, it does not look like it will be able to. And that Hellion is going to die without a single kill on this mineral line back over here. Both players now harvesting with 58, about 55 plus harvesters. Liquid TLO does have those mules so we'll be able to mine much more quickly mining with four mules so though you should see that number jump up very very heavily a third command center now being placed down single siege tank so um liquid tlo using the ultimate strategy of mass command centers in order to take down grez so grez still a little bit on the ropes here and um, zergling still doing a little bit of expanding or a little bit of scouting and now setting up a hatchery on this high yield mineral expansion tlo does see this with with the help of that single zelnaga watchtower and now siege tanks army wise and TLO sitting on a 4,900 mineral army compared to Grez's 2,250. Stay tuned for part 3 of this replay between Grez and TLO here on Metalopolis.